What's going on, y'all? It's your brother Jerome. It's on my way to Palm Springs. See my family. Got a nephew who's playing his final football game for high school. <clears throat> Looking forward to that. So anyway, I just want to talk to you guys about seeking first the kingdom of God and all things will be added unto you. And I know some people, they might think that that's a bunch of horse crap, whatever. They don't believe it. But I'm here to tell you that it is completely true. Because when you first seek the kingdom of God, that means you're seeking salvation. And you're seeking freedom. You're filling a void that only God can could, God could fulfill. And each of us are born with something that, a longing for something. And that longing is God. It's love. It is all the qualities that you would, that you would think that is a God. All those qualities. A loving God. Vehicle stopped on shoulder ahead. And once we seek salvation, we seek the kingdom of God, and we seek the good things, the right things. All those things are going to be added unto you afterwards. All, all the other extra blessings, benefits. The first step you have to seek the kingdom of God. It's the number one, number one thing. And then when you are saved. Jesus Christ, he gave us two commandments. One, to love God with all your heart, soul, and mind. And two, the second greatest, which is like it, he says, is to love others as yourself. So, which means don't love yourself more than other people, right? Because when you're a selfish person and you love just yourself, when you die, you, you will die without that love. You're going to die alone. And say... The other example, uh, love others more than yourself, then that's not very fair. You're, you're going to be miserable. You're going to be living your life for everyone else, trying to help other people, trying to love other people, but you yourself don't have that that uh, that love that gives yourself your own security and confidence. So you have to love yourself as well, So which is very important. Love others as yourself right? So keep equal. And he said, Jesus Christ, he said that that is like loving God with all your heart, soul, and mind. So that's the first greatest commandment. And what does that mean? Love God with all your heart, soul, and mind. Let's see. All your heart. You desire God. It's in your heart that you want to do right. You want to do good all the time. All your heart, all your soul, all your soul, everything that's deep down inside you, everything that that gives you a purpose here on this earth, and all in your mind. I don't know if any of you guys meditate, but I do. And, you know, there's controversy, oh, maybe meditation is not good for us, or some people don't even try it, or it doesn't work. But to be able to clear your thoughts, especially with how much... Uh, information and data is going around, especially with Facebook, YouTube, any social network, you know, the internet itself has so much information that if you're not able to release on that, any of that information and just be at a neutral standpoint with God as far as your mind, which is basically being, just, just being, just, just being there, you know, sitting, meditating, not thinking about all these other issues and problems that we have. That, in a sense, is being neutral, you know? You're neutral. And then to love God with your mind is to think about God, to think about what He wants for you, what He wants. He, you know, obviously, God wants the best for you. You know, so those are commandments. And also, seek first the kingdom of God. That's the first step.